Okay, so here we are in step number 12, where we're going to sew the muzzle on with the overcast stitch. A lot of students uh, ask, how do I start the overcast stitch? Because they think they, they are going over the edge. You are. You're going over the edge of whatever you're sewing on. So what we're sewing on here is the muzzle. So you're going to come up like you've come up through everything. Again, I've done an arm's length, double arm's length of thread, threaded and knotted my needle. I'm going to come in a little bit closer. So you come up. So my collar is like a blue or a turquoise or a teal. I come through the edge and I'm basically going over my aqua, my turquoise, whatever you want to call it, and through the brown bear. And you pull. Okay, so I'm going to show you again. Come up from the edge again. It's hard to do because I have a camera in back of me. Come up through, whoops, I just hit the camera, and go over the edge of whatever you're sewing on. At this point, we're sewing the muzzle. So I hope you can see the stitches. I'm gonna go about half or three quarters way around, and then I'll show you, and it'll be easier for you all to see. Okay, so I'm almost done sewing the overcast stitch and I probably have about three more stitches to go, but I am running out of thread. So that's going to be a decision you're going to have to make. If you go to the end and you don't have enough thread, you're going to have to take your stitches out or I would have to try to do a repair. So I'm lucky enough. Remember, you need about three inches of thread. I have about four. I have about one more stitch to go. Remember, what people do is they see that they're getting to the end and they make their stitches too big, okay? And that's where points would be taking off. So I have one more. Remember, you're going over the edge. I'm going to quickly end it and then show you what the muzzle looks like up, over, and through your loop. If you have the thread, try to do it at least two to three times. I'm going to go three times. Remember, it doesn't matter what the inside looks like matters what the front looks like right now. So nice, small, even stitches. You can hopefully see the stitches, they come up just along the edge of the turquoise and then down through the brown. At this point, that is step number 12. I'm gonna make a check, but then what to include in the muzzle. So the next video will show sewing on a nose, using a button, a stitch, or you may use a piece of felt. You then sew the mouth on using the back stitch. And at that point, you will use the back stitch so it makes um, a straight line, okay? It's a little hard to make the mouth, but everybody's mouth comes out different. So after the muzzle sewing, you put a nose on and then a mouth on. Uh, and then you'll move on to the eyes, which is step 13. And then it's almost time to accessorize if you have time, okay? So the next video will show you the placement of the nose and I will choose um, a button.